We play and call it work. Hey folks, Janine from Mini Wargaming here with another how-to video for ya. In this video, we're going to begin painting the Saint Celestine Mini. And the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to start painting the cloth on her back. As always, if you have suggestions for something you'd like to see in a future how-to video, please leave it down below in the comments. Now this mini's been prepped by being primed black, and then I sprayed it with a little bit of gray primer from the top. I did this because I want to have a lot of dark colors, but also the armor is going to be very light. So this was kind of a good compromise between the two. I didn't want to start with a pure white because I'm going to be doing really dark cloth and some really dark parts in the wings, but I didn't want to start with black because the armor is going to be very bright. Also, in hindsight, I probably would have painted the armor before I painted the cloth, but it's fine. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to do a layer of Zarius purple mixed with a little bit of Lamian medium. This is going to be an all over layer that we're going to paint over the entirety of the cloth. I just want to make sure that I get a nice solid coat with a good consistency to my paint so it doesn't get gloopy. It has really good thin coverage. Um, it's better to do two layers um, to get a nice solid coat than it is to do one layer that is really thick and you're going to lose some of your detail. In the front I want to make sure that I get this color all the way up against the edge of the armor and then there's also a lot of curly cues at the bottom of the skirt that I want to make sure get covered as well. Here's the cloth after that Zarius purple base coat. Next we're going to use a little bit of Nagroth Knight, also mixed with a little bit of Lamian Medium, and we are going to put this in the cracks to add a little bit of shadow to this cloth. This skirt has very defined recesses, so it's pretty easy to determine where I want the shadow to be. I'm just going to put a thin line in all of these cracks. In some of these larger folds, I'm going to use a little bit more Nagaroth Knight. I'm going to bring it further up the pleat. And it's nice to have my Zarius Purple on the palette as well, because that way if I bring it too far up, I can just clean off my brush really quickly, dip it in some Zarius Purple, and do some very quick wet blending to make sure I'm not overpowering the cloth with shades that are too dark. Here's the cloth after we've added that first shadow. Next we're going to begin highlighting. Our first highlight is going to be with Jean Stiller Purple. I put quite a bit of Lamian Medium into my paint so that I can get a nice blended effect. Um, I want to have to add a couple layers to get a really solid Jean Stiller Purple color. And I'm just using my detail brush and I'm applying this to the top of all of these folds in the back of the skirt. Here's Celestine after the Jean Stiller Purple step. Next we're going to deepen the shadow just a titch more by adding a little bit of Drucci Violet in all of the folds. I'm painting this the consistency it is right out of the pot, but I'm using just very little to kind of line the very deepest recesses in each of these folds. I don't need to use a lot to darken the color. Here's the cloth after that shade's been added. Now, the next step is going to be to add a couple more layers of highlights. However, this is really the brightest purple that GW makes. From here, we either need to go more into the blue family or into the red family. So we need to mix our paint with either a light blue or a pink. I chose to do blue because the armor is going to have a lot of warm tones. So I thought that that would make for a better contrast. So our next highlight is going to be with Hoeth Blue and Jean Stiller Purple, mixed about 50-50 with a little bit of Lamian Medium. And I'm just applying a thin line to this on top of the Jean Stiller Purple. I'm going to be applying it to all of the same areas. I'm just going to be a little bit more sparing. The highlight's going to be smaller and that's going to help me kind of build up this gradient. Here's the cloth after that 50-50 blue-purple mixture. We're going to do one final highlight by adding just a dab of Ceramite White into the 50-50 mixture that we've already created. In terms of ratio, it's probably going to be one part white, one part blue, one part purple. 
However, you can kind of fine tune it however you'd like so that it can be as bright or as dark as you'd like. And I'm just using my fine detail brush to add this as a super highlight at the very top of each of these folds. If I need to, I have some of my other paint colors still on my palette, which can help me blend everything together. And I'm concentrating this final highlight more towards the bottom of the skirt, since the upper portion would most likely be shadowed by the wings. And I'm not adding too much of this paint because I really want it to remain a very dark purple. I'm also going to line the lower edge as it curves around, just to bump up the contrast a tiny bit. All right, here is the back of the skirt entirely completed. Now at this point, I went ahead and painted the armor before I painted the loincloth at the front of the mini. However, I wanna give you a shot of what the model looks like after all of the cloth has been done. Here is the Celestine with the cloth entirely done front and back. It's just one way to make a nice rich purple. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more how-to videos, I have another one where I go through the steps of painting the armor on the Celestine in the mini Wargaming vault in the link down below in the description. If you don't already have a vault membership, go ahead and click the link. You can sign up for a seven day free trial and get access to my video as well as hundreds of other videos in the mini Wargaming vault. So go ahead, click the link, start your free trial and happy Wargaming.